Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and we have a, a new series that I will be uh, doing in the next uh, few weeks called What is this signal? And we'll actually look at some of the signals that are present on the shortwave bands, give a little bit of information about what they are. So if you come across them, you'll know what to expect and what exactly it is. First one is the one we hear in the background here. You just put this eye, you might hear some little time pips. Now I'm in CW, but if you tune one kilohertz up in lower sideband, you also will hear it. So if I do 4997, and then I do lower sideband instead. So fading in and out. So this is RWM time signal out of Moscow, Russia. So it's not super strong, but it's there today. Um, three frequencies to check for when you want to see if you're actually hearing it or not and try different times of day. It's heard pretty much across North America, but you'll have, you know, it's a, it's a signal that's not super strong in power, but it is definitely something to try for. It goes to recycle, actually. Uh, you'll have a cycle that is a unmodulated carrier. So if you hear just a carrier, that is that time signal. Then you have um, transmitter off for a minute. That will happen. You'll have Morse code identification arrive. You'll have uh, one hertz pulses and you'll have 10 hertz pulses. Uh, so different types of pulses, either fast pulses or like now, um, what sounds like pulses that are every minute. So all of that is happening through a cycle that lasts an hour. So from zero to zero eight, you'll have the unmodulated carrier at the eighth minute to the ninth minute transmitter off ninth minute. You'll hear RWM time signal Morse code identification. Then at uh, the 10th minute, you'll hear one Earth's pulses. And then you'll hear at the 20th minute, 10 Hertz pulses, 20 milliseconds each. So this goes through a cycle and restarts at the 30th minute of every hour. And so every 30 minutes, that cycle goes through. It's something to try for. And like I said, you don't hear it. You know, try all the frequencies, 14996CW. Or if you don't have CW or you don't have uh, a radio with a BFO, which is upper or lower sideband, then you can tr just tune one killer. It's off at 14997 lower sideband, and you should be hearing the time signal. And it's going to avoid also at the same time the interference from WWV time signal. So 14996 is one of the frequencies. Then you have 9996. And 4996. So these are three frequencies to keep in mind. As you can hear, I'm hearing it on 4996 and 9996 right now. It's a zero two. 47 UTC and um, in the afternoon I will hear 14996 very often so throughout the day try regularly if you've never heard it chances are you'll hear it at some point and if it's because it's you know these are often very weak so if it's very noisy where you are go to a park go to an area with you know just a radio and a telescopic antenna is enough I've received RWM easily on portable receivers in quiet environments. So check it out. 
And uh, this is the Moscow time signal. So it's the call sign of a high-frequency shortwave standard frequency and time signal radio station in Moscow, Russia, controlled by the All-Russian Scientific Research Institute for Physical Engineering and Radiotechnical Metrology, and it's operated by the Russian Television and Radio Broadcasting Network. The power used is 5 kilowatts on 4996 and 9996, and 14996 has 8 kilowatts. And um, the frequencies are very close to WWV, so sometimes um, it's a little difficult to avoid the interference. That's why I use the lower sideband trick. And you know what? It's how I discovered RWM. If you are listening to um, WWV and you hear these what sounds like pips or quick time pips, at the same time, you might be hearing RWM just below. Uh, that is received on the same bandwidth if your bandwidth is a little large when listening to WWV. So I hope you enjoy the series of what is this signal and more to come. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.